So I had a case with a little one and it was awful. Um, I remember the detectives getting sick to their stomach and it was just the worst thing somebody could ever imagine happening to a child. And I remember that feeling inside of me of if I was there when this stuff was happening, I would have made it stop. And then trying to wrestle with if God is omniscient and omnipotent and all of these things, if he knew what was happening and saw what was happening and heard the cries of this child, why wasn't it stopped? It sounds harsh, but God became ugly to me. Um, he almost seemed cruel and okay with suffering. At the same time, I remember sitting and hearing prayer requests and somebody had a significant praise that, you know, she had lost her keys and she prayed to God that God would help her find her keys and God helped her find her keys. And I'm holding that at the same time. I had just sat with a kid who cried out and has been abused over and over and over again. And God didn't show up, but he showed up for the lost keys. Everything just shattered. It was like the rug just got pulled out from under me. Everything I thought I knew, everything I thought I believed, uh, all of a sudden didn't make sense anymore. Um, and I really didn't want anything to do with God in that moment. One of the overwhelming feelings I had was kind of this idea of being on a beach and there are people drowning everywhere. And you're in the water swimming as hard as you can, as fast as you can, trying to grab as many bodies as you can and swim them back into shore. And you're doing this over and over and that feeling of being exhausted at times alone. And I think sometimes my frustration with the church was I felt like I would look to the shore and I would see the church out playing beach volleyball and building sandcastles and all of these things that are fun and they are together but this feeling of do you not see all the bodies that are drowning in the water. And so I think when I came to seminary, all of a sudden I looked around in my classes and they're the people that are also in the water, swimming as hard as they can, as fast as they can, realizing that the lives of the people who are drowning matter. The seminary has really given me the tools to be a therapist to sit with somebody in suffering and pain and to really enter into coming alongside families who are, who are hurting and bringing hope and bringing healing and bringing restoration. I can't change what happened to a kid. I can't change the things that they went through, but I can sit with them in a moment and be all those things that Jesus is in that moment and bring Jesus to them. It's still always going to hurt, to hear somebody talk about suffering. Um, but to know God is faithful in it and that God can make beauty out of ashes and God can bring healing and makes it worth it.